All right, Carl, just back from the uh, Cover Calf on the 20 Championships. Uh, a historical occasion for Bermuda. What, what, what was it that was historical about you know, our, our parents down in Costa Rica? Yeah, the first time for the under 20 was actually making it to that um, Conquer Calf finals. And it was a great experience for all of us. Um, us as coaches, and I'm sure the players really um, enjoyed that experience. We ran in as actually the lowest ranked team, uh, according to I think the FIFA rankings. And but we done well, and for a nation that has a population of 60, 65 thousand people, um, we were coming up against nations that have four million and more, like Mexico there, and um, even Costa Rica, who have you know millions of people. We really don't have the amount of players to pick from that they do. So in that sense, yes, we definitely punched above our weight. And we looked at, we finished third in the CFU. And I would say uh, we finished third again in the CFU um, teams that were there. You know, it was a couple of CFU teams that didn't get a point. Um, we managed to get a point in our first game against Trinidad, um, um, and you know Trinidad, I would say was the best CFU team there. Should, should, should Bermuda be proud of this team? What they've what they've accomplished? Oh yes, without a doubt, I think we should be proud of. Them. Um, you know, looking at it on TV or you know reading about it, you know, it's always going to help people have their own opinions. But I think we've done quite well. Um, we showed up well, we got a lot of good reviews from um, people that were at the tournament, you know, the, the CONCACAF people and and the people from FIFA. So, yeah, you know, how could a small nation be doing so well in, in, in this major tournament? U.S. coach, you know, who, who were some of the standout performance? You know, some of the players that really stood out down, down in Costa Rica? Yeah, um, I think Liam Evans, he led the team really well. Uh, Nico Lowe started off quite well. Uh, didn't have too good of a second game, but scored in the third game as well. Mazai Burchell, who missed the first game due to a slight knock in, in, in a game that happened in before going to to Costa Rica, but he, he showed promise, scored a good goal. Um, they're saying that it's a goal of the tournament so far. Panama won 4 0, and the United States won 4 1. This chance a shot, beautiful goal by Bermuda. As it was a tremendous finish there by Mazzy Burchell. El Salvador fell asleep at the wheel. Burchell had. Chance to stop it and turn. Nothing that could be done. Great service by Bascom as well. Able to pop it up, control it on two occasions, and knock it in. This is what Kyle Lepper has been talking about. And, um, you know, Milan Butterfield, who played in midfield and at the back, uh, done well. Sergeant Bassum done well. Um, you know, we the goalkeeper Detre Bow thought he done quite well. You know, we toyed with changing the goalkeeper in the last game, but we stuck with him. Um, you know, just on the basis that we had Latian girls, sometimes change the keeper it could you know, you can keep a clean sheet, you just never know, but um, we, we had some good performance. Uh, Paul Douglas thought it down quite well in stages in the game. And Jess Rattery Smith always had a little bit of an impact for us. Um, Nori Scott, you know, needing Tardy on the ball. But I mean, you gotta go around all the players to go to everybody put in, you know, good work ethic. What were some of the biggest obstacles we, we faced? I think some of the biggest obstacles was 
looking at how the other team set up and putting in place a system to help us uh, stay in the games. You know, here's Zoe Gould and Daniel saying, well, yeah, let's be aggressive, let's play this way. Um, I think that was some of the biggest challenges that we had is putting the system in place to stay in the game for long periods. Um, if you're too open too early, the game could be over within 20 minutes and we, we, want, we didn't want that to happen. We tried to frustrate a few of the teams and, um, you know, it, we were in every game up until, I would say, uh, 60 minutes into the game. If you look at every game, 60 minutes were in the game and that's what we were hoping for. You know, you, you normally bring your game changes on around that time. And, um, yeah, we, we just didn't manage to get a victory, but we showed a lot of heart and character and determination. And, you know, hopefully we can make it back there again. So what can we take from this tournament? Uh, we can take from this tournament that we can make the step to the next level. Uh, that's one thing. Um, also taken from this tournament is that there's a high level of play um, that we have to make sure that we, we manage to keep to. That was key that we looked at in every game. We look at El Salvador game, the very um, tactically gifted players and also with uh, Costa Rica as well. And I think we're getting close to putting a, a concrete style on the way that we want to play, but it's just trying to bat it in. Um, so I think that's, that's a big thing that's come out of this tournament.